Good morning, class! Good morning, teachers! I'm Teacher Daisy. And I am Teacher Hildy. And we are your English teachers for today. Please stand up right here. Miss Abby, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Angel of God, my garden dear, to most God, God love, to miss me. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide me. Amen. 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 Please take your seats. Thank you, teacher. Before we start, I don't hear the class, classroom rules that we need to follow. Please read it. Sit properly. Cooperate. Participate. Please don't forget our standards class, okay? Yes, teacher! Now let's try if you listen well to our discussion. Who can recall what was our discussion last Friday? Anyone? Yes? It is about recording viewpoints, teacher. Yes. What is viewpoint class? A viewpoint is the way of thinking about the subject topic. Please stand up. A viewpoint is a way of thinking about the subject topic. Very well said. So, viewpoint is also known as point of view. Okay, class, let's start our new lesson today through reading. Um, I have here a short story. I don't know if you, read, if you read this already, but try to listen to me because later on I will ask you some questions. Is that clear? Yes, teacher! Are you ready to explore your imaginations? Yes, teacher! The title of the story is all about the three little pigs and the wolf. The three little pigs were orphans. They are Bob, Bobby, and Boy. Bobby, the eldest, was taking care of his two brothers. Bob is responsible. He taught household chores to Bobby and Boy. When I report to work, you take care of yourselves. Bob is industrious. He saved his earnings wisely. Later on, he put, he put up his own small eatery. A few years later, Bob put a big restaurant. It came an instant hit because of his skillful management. Many invade the three little pigs. They were young and yet very su successful. It's because they were all industrious, their friends would say. One of those who invade brothers was a wolf, was Wolfie, a wolf. They are successful because they work as a team, he told himself. Bob was pros prosperous because of helping him. If you are not around, he won't achieve anything he convinced Bobby and boy give him put up your own business he knows them the two little pigs through whom he was right we want to save our own business give us our share of our wealth so we can start as soon as possible boy said Bob granted Bobby Bobby and boy's request he also taught him that the secret of success industry and right way to save Bobby and boy put up their own retail store you have to give back the favor you owe me I made you I made you guys what he said the two piglets were obliged to give back favors to a get what you want it's my trip the, the wolf said to his friends boastfully. Wolfie would always ask good from two little pigs. Bobby and Boy incurred great losses they had close to their store. Bobby and Boy went back home. They confessed to Bob how Wolfie took advantage of them. Bobby and Boy realized that it was, it was a mistake when, when they listened to Wolfie. Meanwhile, Bob was so angry to Wolf. Wolfie did not show up again. He was scared that the three little pigs might do to him 
harm because of his death. Okay? Alright, class. Let me ask you a few questions about the short story we have read. What is the title of the story? Teacher. Yes? The three little pigs and the wolf. Please louder. The three little pigs and the wolf. Yes, very good. What do you think about the story? Yes, Miss? Um, this story is, is, is interesting. Yes, the story is very interesting. What do you like about the story? Yes, Miss Abid? The three little pigs help each other. Yes, the, the three little pigs help each other. So what did you not like it about the story? Yes, Miss Jimmy. Me? Uh, when Wolfie the Wolf played Bobby and Boy. Wolfie is three. The two little pigs, so is it good or bad? It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. What do you think of what Wolfie did to the two to the two pigs? To the pigs, <laughs> rather. <laughs> yes, Miss Milakin. Instead of getting jealous of the success of others, Wolfie should do something and strive harder to be successful as well. Yes, very well said. Okay, class, to test your vocabulary, I have here an activity. These words from the story I have read uh, earlier. What you're going to do is to find this, the meaning or the synonyms and write the letter on your notebook. Is that clear? Yes, teacher! Okay. You have five minutes to answer those uh, words. Okay, class, time's up. Now let's check your answers. For number one, orphans. What is the meaning of orphans? B. B. Or B. What is this? Parentless. Number two, what is chores? A. Task. A. Task. Number three, industrious. What is the meaning of industrious? D. Hard working. Hard working. Right. Number four, envy. What is the meaning of envy? Jealousy. Jealousy. And number five, C. 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 It is well being. Okay, very good. Clap your hands for your. For your another activity, I will group you into five groups. Then, I will give uh, the scrambled letters and you are going to arrange it for, to the corresponding words. Is that clear? Yes, teacher! You have five minutes to answer those um, scrambled words. Now please read the 
the words you have uh, arranged. First is color, complex, sitting, thin, lot. Couple that class. Okay, class. Based on the words that you have heard, what do you think will be our lesson for today? Yes, Jeremy? Teacher, I think it's about the elements of a short story. Yes, because the words you have formed are the five elements of a short story. Um, before going further to our lesson, which is the elements of a story, let's ask, define first what is a short story. A short story A short story is a, a shorter or a brief fictional a narrative prose that is shorter than a novel and is usually deals with only a few characters. Short story have five elements, which are characters, cities, conflict, theme, and plot. Now, was idea? Uh, what is a uh, character? Mm. Yes, Jolina. So, character is a person or animal in a story. Yes, character is a person, animal, being, creator, or thing in a story. Okay, let's place it here. How about sitting? What is sitting? Yes, try me. Uh, sitting is a place or a type of surroundings where something is positioned or where an event takes place. Yes. Sitting is where a place or type of surroundings where something is positioned or where the event takes place. Uh, how about conflict? What is conflict? Conflict is the tension in the story. Yes. Conflict provides a crucial tension in any story and is used to drive the narrative forward. Okay, let's proceed to theme. Teacher. Yes, what is theme? Theme is the main idea of the story. Yes, very good. Theme is the main idea that the story conveys and it is also the message of the writer that he or she is trying to convey through the story. Now, the last element, plot. Yes. Plot is all about the feelings of the story. Come again. Plot is all about the uh, happens of the story. Yes, plot is what happens in the story. <laughs> now, these are the five elements of the story. Now, any questions? Yeah, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, classes, you have no more questions. Uh, Let's see if you really listen well to our discussion. Uh, how many elements do, uh, do a short story have? Five, Five elements. Namely, characters, settings, conflict, theme, and plot. Yes, very good. Now, why do you think it is important to know the five elements of a short story? Settings. <laughs> yes, Jolina. It is important to know that the elements of the story is important for the readers to digest and understand what he or she read. Very well said. Okay, class, to check your learning from this discussion, I have here an activity for you. Uh, this time, I will group you into two. I will give you a story to read. One, okay. two. And then, and then, attached to that story, uh, is some details that you have to provide. Uh, 
And you have to write it in a card to Lina. The first group who can provide the correct answers are the winner. Okay? Okay, teacher. You have five minutes to, uh, to finish your task. Five minutes starts now. All done? Mana? Yeah. Yet, ma. Okay. Time is ticking. Three minutes to go. Thank you. 
The title of the story is The Ants and Their Dove. The characters are the ants and the dove. The setting is in the spring. The conflict is the ant goes to drink in the spring as she sleeps and fail into the water. The theme is do others as you wish, wish them to do to you. The plot is the ants and the dove is summary of the true friendship and loyalty. Okay, thank you. Group 1 and group 2. Since group 1 is finished first, we will have more answers. We will have an additional voice in my class report. Yes! So you have skills. Have good points. Okay, I have a follow-up activity for you. You are going to fill in and provide the correct answers, the words, and read it in the blocks. I hope you still remember the story that you have read. Please give it back to me. The story. First, the story. Okay. Here's the activity you have to answer. Three minutes to do the task. The teacher. Okay, very good. Group two. Let me have the teacher. Okay, well done. Michi, your answers are correct. Number one. Correct answer for number one is ah. Is this your answer? Yes. Okay, very good. Number two. What is your answer? It's water. Number three is grass. Grass is the correct answer. Number four. It's the three. Mama. Number five. Hunter. Number six. Slime. Ah. Seven. Slime. The. Number eight is fly. I'm glad that you got all the correct answers. Yes! Now, here's the question. As you can read, the direction is there. Choose the letter, the correct answer. Write it in a bottom sheet, go paper. Okay, prepare your sheets of paper. Okay. Can you start answering? Mom. Answer. Yes. Answer. I was in a WhatsApp sheet with my friend Marlo. You're not listening. Sorry, Mom. Okay, Dad? Yes, Mom. Mom. Okay, for your seat, B. You have to complete the story map with information from the story that we have this one. This one. Okay, follow this format. Yes, ma'am. 
Come on. You can do it. Let me see. All done? Yes, yes teacher. Miss Pastor Peters forward. Okay, class, I'm all done checking your papers and most of you got a perfect score. So, Yay. okay, for your assignment. Okay, as you can read, you have to compose your own short story to select five elements. Then, the story you've made, list down all the elements mentioned in your story. I read the one. Whole sheet of paper. Yes, teacher. Is it clear, class? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay. Uh, that's all for today. Please stand up for our closing prayer. Okay. Um, can, it be? can you please read the prayer? Let us pray and inspire the sun to us today. Amen. 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 Bye, Bob. Bye, Bob. Bye, 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 Bye,